Hi, yeah, this is part two of how to make a pop tab purse. Okay, so you're up to this part now. And now we're going to go all the way around the outside with yarn. I use a slightly thicker yarn than what I did before. For this, you can use the same yarn. I just like a thicker one because you can use less stitches. Basically, we're going to do the same stitch. We're going to get the yarn and do the single crochet stitch through the holes. And we're just literally going to do this all the way around the outside. So I'm using a slightly thicker yarn than I was before. I'm going to be using three stitches in each of the pop tab holes. So I'll just, just do three stitches, then move on to the next hole. And you just do that until you get to the top. And then when you get to the top, all you have to do is just carry on doing more stitches. So you just don't stop until you get round to the next part. Now at the top and bottom, part of the pop tabs I usually do at least five stitches so you want about five or six stitches to cover the whole lot and once you get from to the end of one pop tab you move on to the next and just go around the whole of the outside yeah okay so once you've done that it will look like this then you just grab the yarn again and pull it through that last loop to create the knot and you're going to need two of these obviously one for the back and one for the front of the purse Okay, so you just pull the yarn tight to form that knot and then you just tie it up with the beginning part and then trim that up and because it's on the side when you go and sew the purse up later the ends will um, be hidden in the seams okay so like I say you're going to need two of these exactly the same size and then obviously you're going to need sides as well and for that It'll just look like this so you need two of these again you want the same amount of pop tabs height wise so for this one I'll be using six and this is just really simple again the same single crochet stitch and because you're only using uh, one at a time it's a lot easier to crochet with it's a lot less fiddly, fiddly. so again just three stitches in each hole and you just place the second one on top of the first one and carry on crocheting until you've done the six. The next part is you get a zip and we want to attach this now. So we're going to attach it to the inside of the pop tab thing. So as you can see here the outside of the zip is also on the outside of the purse. So you turn it around and now we see the back of the zip and the back of the purse or the inside of the purse that will be. If you want to line it, now would be the time to line it. You just put a bit of fabric the same size as the sections and sew around the outsides to keep it in place. Okay, so you just need to get a needle and thread and we're going to attach the zipper. So what you need to do, you need to line up the zipper to the top of the pop tabs. And from the back, we're going to go through the zipper. And it's also going to go through the yarn that's around the pop tabs. So you just pull that through, leaving a bit on the end. And then you go back down slightly to the side of that. Then we're just going to tie this off. And we're just going to do a straight stitch across the top of the pop tabs to hold the zipper in place. You can fix the, the purse up first and then put the zipper on because it's so small well, that's why I do for larger bags because this one's so small I find it easier putting the zipper on first and then like sew the sides together okay so like I say sorry this has gone off screen but I'm sure you know how to do a straight stitch just like kind of in one side out through the other straight away across the top of the purse so just a simple stitch but it does hold nicely in place okay so once you've done that side you've got to then add the other side to it so it looks like something like this once you've done it and you need to get the other one and you need to line that up so the sides are lined up and again you want the back of it on the back of the zip and you just sew across there and then you also add the sides to the side. So 
side look like this. This is what it looks like. And now we're going to just sew all the sides together. Do you need a matching bit of thread on a needle? So just fo fold one of the little sides over so it meets the side of the front of the purse. Like that. And then you just basically put the needle through the yarn of one side of the purse to the other side of the side of the side of the purse. <laughs> Sorry, this bit's going to get confusing. Hopefully, you can just go by what you can see here. So, you just tie the thread on to the side. Just do about two or three knots. And then, just hold the thread down like the crease bit as well. And we're going to sew this into the purse as well. So, you don't have to chop it off too small, and then the knot will come out loose. So basically all we're doing is going out through the bottom here, going through both sides, pulling out from the top, and going straight round to the bottom again. I have no idea what the stitch is called, it's just a very basic one. Again, it just works really well. So you do this down the whole of the side and then just tie it up at the end and trim off any excess thread. And we're almost done. So basically after you've done that one, you would then attach the other side and then do the other side of the purse and then add the bottom of the purse and this size purse is made out, the bottom is actually made out of nine pop tabs and then once you're finished it will look something like this so have fun making your own, hopefully you could understand this fine and don't forget, share a picture of your curations with us and you could be featured on our website in the fan gallery okay, thank you, bye